But one time, me and a buddy of mine, there was a friend of ours that he, him and his family, they moved up to Colorado, and uh, he's going to live in a tent until he could, you know, get settled in. And he had his uh, sons and stuff, and uh, so I had this uh, Coleman tent, and I told him, I said, "Well, y'all take this tent, you know, and that'll give y'all something to put these kids in." So they move up there to Colorado. Well, me and my buddy, we're out here driving around drinking Crown Royal one day, and, and I ain't saying that what I did was right, but uh, I got pretty drunk. We was headed towards Colorado, and we wound up in Branson, Missouri. Uh, that's and, the uh, wrong way, Sam. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> next thing I know, this cop, he pulls us over, and uh, he takes me to jail for being drunk, and they let my buddy drive my car back home, and I told him to tell my mom and dad where I was at. So we're up here. And, How uh, long ago know, was this? Oh, this has been about 10 years ago. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I don't drink and drive anymore. I let Mary or Stephanie or somebody run me around. But uh, so anyway, I'm up here in uh, Branson, Missouri. I got like 47 cents in my pocket, and this cop, he's going... Man, where the hell are you going to go on 47 cents? And I pulled out my Discover card, and I told him, I said, man, I'm discovering America. And uh, so he started laughing about it and stuff. And, well, we talked about, you know, me going to jail. And I said, well, do you think I ought to try to bail out? And he said, well, hell, you're from Arkansas. He said, just stay here, you know. We'll feed you and, you know, and everything. And then you can go to court, you know, Monday. So I said, okay, I'll just stay here and, uh, in jail. So I'm up there in this jail, and uh, next thing I knew, they they want, they moved me over to some other uh, jail, and a uh, county jail or whatever. So I told the two cops that was driving me around, I told them to take me on the scenic route. And so they look at each other and laugh, and so they took me on the scenic route, man, and I got to go with them, and they served summons on people and stuff like that, and and uh, they even got me a meal at McDonald's, and uh, so I'm over here in this jail, and a court date came up on Monday, and here's my mom and dad, they're sitting in the courtroom, and uh, the judge calls my name, and I didn't show up, so he, he issued a bench warrant. Well, then uh, my mom stood up. She said, well, Your Honor, she said, I don't know, but he's supposed to be in your jail. And so he looks at the prosecutor, and he goes, man, is that right? And the guy said, man, I don't know, man. And he said, uh, let me check. Well, they finally found me, you know, and I come to court. And, and the judge, he's sitting there reading through the stuff, and He's going, well, it shows here you have 47 cents on you. Where the hell was you going on 47 cents? I don't know why these people in Missouri, <laughs> you know. <laughs> they're worried about your 47 they're cents. They're worried about my 47 <laughs> cents, you know. But I told him, I said, well, I had my Discover card. I was discovering America. So anyway, he goes, uh, <clears throat> well, you know, he, he fined me and all this stuff and but he, he was real sociable about it, and he told me, man, you know, next time you come back up here, uh, stop in and say hello. And uh, so I ain't never been back to Branson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to say hello from jail? Oh, that's funny, Sam. Hey, what about the military story you told me? You know, the guys you crashed your car into. Oh, I don't want to tell that one. Come on, no, not? they deleted that shit. That, that's a no-no. You can't do that? Yeah. That's kind of like top secret shit. Oh, damn it. That yeah. was a good story. Yeah. Yeah, military, you can't... Uh, the things that goes on in the military is, uh, you know... Well... Well, why would that be so top secret? Because we're protecting America. You can't always talk about that shit. But, you know? Yeah, but what a... You know, I mean... I don't know. It was just some guys on the road. Well, you know, but, you know, I think I was supposed to have a security clearance, and I never had one. But, uh, but, yeah, the military's a good place to go, man.
You can't uh, say nothing. I think everybody. I just. Uh, I even want my son. You know, when he grows up, I want him to join the military and serve his country. How old's you your know? son? Uh, well, he's 13 now. You have a 13-year-old? I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, he'll retire by the time he uh, graduates. I didn't know you had a 13-year-old I bought him 10 son. shares of Google. <laughs> All right, so no story about your no, military? No, I can't talk about that. But, uh, but I just want people to know that, yeah, you know, serve your country. Go in the military. They paid for my school. Uh, you know, I got an education from it. And, uh, Edumacation? Yeah. But uh, they loved me so much, I, I went through the Secretary of the Air Force my, for my uh, discharge. Uh, but anyway, and that's that story. That's all you got to say about that? Yeah, that's yeah. all I got to say about that. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of like a box of chocolates. Mm -hmm. <laughs>